What's up, YouTube? This is Fix It Vic. And what we have here today is a 2001 Ford F-150. It's having starting issues. And what we're going to do is I'm going to walk you through the process of figuring out what kind of starting issue you're having. This vehicle is, is clicking. It's one small click down there at the starter area. But I'm going to also show you if you have the rapid click, the click, 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 what that issue would be okay so now i'm in the vehicle keys in the ignition and when i turn the key forward in the on position the night the starter i'm just getting one click and that click is coming from the solenoid so what happens is when power is coming power is in this solenoid will run into this solenoid straight from the battery and there's also a line coming from the from the ignition switch that sends power to the starter. So this is good because this stand engaged. When you hear that click, it's connecting the power over so that it opens, so that it closes the circuit for the starter to go. So this is working fine. If this was malfunctioning, it either wouldn't be clicking at all or it would be doing multiple clicks as if enough power wasn't coming from the battery to keep that engaged. So that's fine. We're gonna run down and look at the bottom, at the starter and see if our issue is gonna be with the starter. All right, see now this is the solenoid. All right, and I'm gonna have her um, turn the key forward and you're gonna hit a click here. All right, turn the key. Do it again. All right, I'm pretty sure you can hear that. That's the solenoid is engaging and unengaging. All right, so that's not the issue. We're gonna go Okay, on. now what we have here, I found the issue. It's tight squeeze here, so bear with me. But I hope you can see this. So what the issue is, I know it was a connection issue, but this bolt right here, as you see, it holds the ground on, and it's also a mounting bolt for the starter and it, I got this starter pro not long ago and I know the starter's not bad so that's why I knew it was a connection issue plus the solenoid sounded good and it wasn't turning over at all so now I'm looking at this I got this starter put up put in by another mechanic and it looks like they put the wrong bolt maybe the old bolt something was wrong with it so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna back this bolt out and put the right size bolt in. So I'm gonna put back this bolt out and I'll let you know the progress. Hopefully it's just that they put the wrong size bolt and it's too small and not that it's stripped out in there. That would be horrible. So I'm gonna back it out and I'll let you know my progress when I get done. Okay, I went and found the bolt, found it at Advanced. Uh, I tried O'Reilly's, I tried Auto, Auto, AutoZone. Neither one of them had it. They didn't know how to find it. Advanced Auto Parts, they were pretty helpful. They looked up the size of the bolt. They had it in stock. It's like $4 for this pack. Four of starter bolts. So I got those and I got some thread lock. To put on the thread so that it don't back out. Okay, we got good news and bad news. Good news is that the block ain't stripped because this is pretty stripped and just fucked over. But it's the wrong size, as you can see. So I need to go back and get this side. advanced found the right size and this is more like it this is pretty okay it's out now 
So what I'm gonna do is I'm about to try and well not try, but go on and put it in. It's gonna be a difficult job. And just beware that if you ever have to change this um, starter, it's gonna be a job because Because the the bolts, that bolt like that up there, and it's the one on the other side, on the top up here, um, and that's the heart. It's very hard to get it. It's very hard to get it uh, out unless you have very small hands. But that's something I don't have. So let's see if I can get this thing started. Let's get started. And it is in. So I'm just gonna tighten this on down and we should crank right up. Okay now put your make sure you put your battery cable back and we'll see if it'll start. There goes nothing. There you have it. Starts right up. And that's the problem. So sometimes when you have your situation where you got your starter is just clicking, it could just be such it could be an issue just as simple as the ground wire or one of the connections are tight. Um, if you like this video, you want to see more of my fixes, please leave a comment, subscribe to this channel, like my channel, and I'll see if I can get some more content out there.